Squirt, squirt. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? We back again. What's happening out there in them streets? So in this episode, we're going to do a little quick little update on the store that we reopened recently. And I'm going to show you a recent investment of mine because that is pretty dope. It's a complete mint condition tops chrome set. No spectras, sparkles, or technos, but still gas. It's near mint to mint. And there's something special about this. Not special in a good way, but there's something particular I sh about this i should say that happens quite often with the tops chrome cards and some of the other old tops cards and i will show you what i'm talking about about them sticking and what a little bit that you can do with it so firstly if you go to ebay and you go to your home screen it will bring you here hover over my ebay go down to selling this will bring you to your overview now we've only had $1,038 in sales over the last month, which is nothing crazy. But let's see here, since we reopened the store, let's start at, what was that? That was like, yeah, no, this is good, right? Boom, boom. Since we reopened the store, we've had $3,383.50 in sales, our net sales have only been $2,500 off of that that's taking out the eBay fees any PayPal fees if they were at the time which I don't believe there was no there wasn't because we had to reopen the store that's right and the shipping though is also included in that so a little something something you know what I'm saying so that's what we've been selling now let, let's look at some of these orders Let's do last week. And then we'll do this week. Because we haven't had that much. Okay, last week though we had six sales for $630. We sold a GMA Gem Mint 10 uh, McDonald's Pikachu holographic for $150. That's nice. We sold some damaged holographic Japanese cards. A couple lots of those. We sold an authenticated, very damaged card. So all they did was authenticate it. Um, a Flareon Hollow, Reverse Hollow from Legendary. That was boss. Sold that for $70. Sold a Gem Mint 10 GMA Slowpoke and Psyduck from Unified Minds for $80. Three lots here of 11 Well, that one's got 11 That one's got 7 That one's got 15 But... Different damaged Japanese holographic cards again. That's $195 for those three lots. And a GMA7 first edition Squirtle for $23 plus shipping. That was last week. Now let's look at this week. Which this week isn't over yet. This week isn't over until tomorrow. But let's check it out. We've only had $45 this week so far. We've sold a GMA10 Hidden Fates Onyx for $30. And just... A loose individual card, a Raboot from Shining Fates SV016 for $12. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, that's what the sales have been. So, that means the last month we've only done a little over $1,000. But, you know, it's getting ready to warm up for the holiday season. And we have... I've got... I, just, I talked to Alan a couple times recently over at GMA. And we have probably we got a 200 card order that i should be paying for and receiving within hopefully by the end of october i should definitely be and then one right after that like a week later two weeks later plus some other submissions and i'm also this right here i am getting ready to i was gonna i was gonna send a ton of cards to gma or not gma to pwcc auction house to have them sold at the end of the year in the december listing the december auctions to pay off my crib and do some other stuff in the beginning of 2022 well PD pwcc if you don't know an ebay split because of some shill bidding accusations i don't know if that's ever come to 
ahead or not but uh anyways i'll do a video soon talking about everything i plan on doing how i plan on selling my collection now that i'm not going with pwcc i still will consider pwcc when the time comes for some of the cards but i'm probably going to be going with golden auctions for all of my psa and beckett slabs that i plan on selling and for gma i'm pretty sure i'm going to be going with probstein one two three what's up so let me let's look at this beautiful set first and then i will explain a few things first let's just go through it these are all in order Bulbasaur. Now you're not going to be able to see this the greatest because of the lighting, but it's also because I don't want to take these out of the sleeves. You know what? I might as well explain that right away. Now let me find a good example here of a card. These cards will stick together. You see it on the Squirtle? See how it's sticking? Every card. It's going to be on almost every card. Look at the look at the Metapod. Now watch what it does. This card is stuck. Let's see if you can hear it. If you try to just pull the plastic back a little tiny bit very carefully. Let's see if you can hear it. Do you hear that? Listen. <laughs> what, a what a terrible noise, right? So really what you want to do, right, Anytime, if you ever open any of these cards, be super careful. But what you want to do is get some good scissors in very, very, very carefully here, okay? And some of these are going to be harder to do than others, depending on how much room you have. Look, this one doesn't have much room. Look at that. You want to cut. You want to cut. Oh. You got to cut so carefully. Do not touch the card no matter what you do. And look though, you only have to cut this hair thin piece of plastic off. Cut it off the very bottom. And then pick the chunky side, the one that has more plastic showing. And clip it all the way down the side. So you got to do the bottom and one side. Unfortunately, man. But on some of these cards, that's what you have to do. Now, once you've done that, you can pretty freely, usually, boom, peel one side and then let it go. Let it go. Ooh. Now, something I was afraid of with this lot. Something, I don't know why Topps cards did this, but if you look at these, right, like this looks beautiful. Look at, look at the sharp edges on this thing. All the edges look sharp. You know what I mean? It looks great. But then you flip it over. I noticed it right away. Boom, look. Boom, look at that indent. That is terrible right there. So this card will not be going to get graded because of that indent. So I need to go through. I've already looked at when I made the purchase. I didn't look at every single card. So like I really probably should have before I gave good feedback. But uh, I looked at all of the most valuable cards. So, oh well, that little Metapod got damaged, y'all. Poor little Metapod. But so that's how you handle that situation. Now let's go through these. Metapod's over there, but you'll see all the rest. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, look at that boy, look at him, beautiful, Squirtle, Squirt, Wartortle, Wartortle, Blastoise, Caterpie, Butterfree, Free, Weedle, Kakuna, there's the Metapod over there. Oh, wait, no, that's... What am I talking about? Beedrill. Pidgey. Pidgeotto. Pidgeot. All right, let's see. Ratata. Raticate. Spiro. Firo. Ekans. Charbuck. Pika. 
Rai. Raichu, Sandshrew, Sandslash, Nidoran, Nidoran, female, Nidorina, Nidal Queen, Nidoran, male, Nidorino, Nidal King, Clefairy, Clefable, Vulpix, Ninetales, Jigglypuff, Wigglytuff, Zubat, Golbat, Oddish, Gloom, Stinkpuff, Vileplume, my dog, Paras, Parasect, Dope Parasect, Venonat, I love this set, y'all, Venomoth, Diglett, Diglett, Dig, Dugtrio, Meowth, Persian, Sayayay, Golduck, Mankey, Primate, Growlithe, Oh, don't drop him. Oh, don't drop him. Ugh, don't ever do that. <laughs> that sucks. Fortunately, I've got like four Arcanines. If that one got any damage on the corners. Hopefully it didn't. It was a pretty light fall. You gotta be careful with your cards, y'all. You don't want to drop them. That is rookie mistake. Poliwog, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, love Poliwrath, Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam, Machop, Machoke, Machamp, Bellsprout, Weeping Bell, Victory Bell, Tentacool, Tentacruel, Geodude Dude Dude, Graveler, Golem, Ponytail, and Rapidash, you see it whole bunch of cards so that's that that's a little update on the store hope everything good with y'all out there in them streets if you haven't already like subscribe and show your dog some love what's up until next time Peace.